Hello, lacrosse friends. Welcome back to the Lacrosse All-Stars North American Invitation. I am Stephen Stamp, joined by Tom Scavetta. And it is time for the Thompson Brothers to take on the Laser Sharks Blanco. It should be an interesting game here. Obviously, the Thompson Brothers heavily favored. They have a basically an all-pro lineup. But there is some talent on this Laser Sharks club as well. We'll see how things turn out. Vin Coran for the Laser Sharks had a really good game yesterday. See if that carries over into today. The Thompson Brothers, a lot of weapons. Von Harris, as he so often does, comes up with the faceoff win. Gets the ball over to Lyle Thompson, over to Dane Smith. That is one MVP to the other. The last two National Lacrosse League Most Valuable Players. Playing catchers, Jordan Durston. Throws it out to Tyson Bell. He loses track of the ball. He had a couple of games yesterday. He played very well. Durston gets this. Thinking about the dunk. Goes for it. Nice stop. By the Laser Sharks goaltender. And they will run the ball up the floor. Just going to kind of slow things down. And Zach Sloan will pass across to the far side. Play developing. Nick Andrioli with a move, goes in. He stopped. <laughs> Troy Lyons in net for the uh, Thompson brothers again. He was saying, <laughs> I was talking to him this morning. They were supposed to have Mike Poole in here. He wasn't able to come, so Lyle Thompson was calling. He said uh, he said he got a call from one of the players on the team and said, hey, are there any uh, like Can-Am goalies around that aren't playing this weekend? <laughs> And he said, well, you're talking to one. And that was how Troy Lyons became the starter for the Thompson Brothers across. Clearly the favorites to win this championship, to fate and defend their title from last year. Nice strip by Heine Thompson. And Seth Oaks will carry the ball into the offensive zone, taking a look around to see who's with him. Behind the back pass, nice bounce shot goal by Hunter Hemlock. Taking that pass and just skipping it off the turf. Hemlock, a good start. Good cut towards the net. And a very clean finish. Thompson Brothers picking up where they left off yesterday. Hot start. And so with 12.57 to go in the first half, just on their way. Thompson Brothers won. Laser Sharks, Blanco, nothing. And it's Lyle Thompson taking the face off this time. And it looks like he will get the win. But lots of pressure from the Laser Sharks right at the Thompson Brothers' door. Dane Smith takes the pass on the far side. Vaughn Harris coming out to join him. There's Tyson Bell. But they come trying to come near side to Heine Thompson. It's tipped away. Nice job by Ben Curran to get his stick on the ball. But it rolls around into the corner. And Dane Smith kicks it out. But three Laser Sharks there to come up with it. <laughs> Gareth Fabian passes, they shoot and score, quick release. And just like that, it's all tied up as we near the three-minute mark of this first half. Man, I would have loved to have seen that in slow motion. That was yeah. an awesome cut towards the net stamper. And the, the Sharks block out, they came to play. I was actually talking to one of them in the hotel room this morning. Yeah, They were ready know, for this game. <laughs> that is Vin Kern that scores, and it's a, uh, you know, again... I, mentioned they have a lot of talent you're never going to be favored when you play the Thompson Brothers at this tournament because they can put such a collection of talent on the floor as Quinn Palace wins the faceoff Kyle Buchanan over there going to try and get it through to Durston instead and throw it back to Dane Smith and just all those names we've just mentioned and Brett Bucktooth out there with them all NLL talent but the Laser Sharks can play and they pick off that pass nice job in running it up the floor here they go Eric Turner with some wheels Shoots, that one takes off on him as we had a little stick-on-stick stick check. Oh, and the pass all the way up. Kevin, Kyle Buchanan, a couple of hard fakes and tucks it home. Yeah, quick response there by Thompson Brothers. Very fast and talented team, very tough to defend. And the Laser Sharks uh, are down now 2-1. to one. And Davy Jones looks up from the Laser Sharks net and sees Kyle Buchanan with nobody between them. That is a scary sight because he is a, such a talented little stick handler. <laughs> mm. 
big check. And Steve Criolo was tracking his man down, thought he might go after him after a pretty aggressive check. But the long pass ahead. Lyle Thompson ducks underneath, tucks it back, short side. That's just a quick acceleration, kind of a little hesitation play to lull a false set security from the defender, slow him down, and then boom, he's gone like a rocket. Lyle Thompson came in so fast. Again, these kids are quick, like we just alluded to a couple of moments ago. Nothing <laughs> much the goalie can do. And a little bit of talent. The reigning National Lacrosse League most valuable player. Brett Bucktooth takes the face off, loses it, and then just whacks away. But the Laser Sharks do come up with it. Eric Turner makes the pass. There's a shot far side, and Lyons just gets his hand on that one off the stick. Of, uh, I'm not sure, honestly. There he is, has the ball again, and it is Zach Sloan, member of the Oshawa Outlaws of the Arena Lacrosse League. A little spin move, trying to get down low. Double team pressure, and Bill O'Brien and Zach Reed just stripped that ball. Oh, sorry, Seth Oaks. Seth Oaks running the floor. So much right-handed talent for the Thompson brothers that they have a bunch of guys spending some time playing out the defensive door. Heine Thompson feeds it through to Durston. Scott Buchanan on the far side can't get it to him. Tried the shot, I think, and it rolled out. Here come the Laser Sharks the other way. James Shutt sprinting up the floor, and there's a shot just to the far side. And Ryan Wheeler thought he had one, but Lyons puts the clamps on with his leg. It's 3-1, to 8.20 to go. Thompson Brothers Elite leading. <laughs> Buchanan. Picks up that loose ball up to Palace. <laughs> it's a race for the ball. It's going to be Turner getting it. Eric Turner lobs it way back near mid floor. Having to make sure he doesn't go over him back there is Joe Williams. <laughs> Nick Andrioli on the far side. Quick feet trying to create something. Just going to let it rip. That one goes wide past the far post. Running out of time. They get a shot, and Bill O'Brien absolutely runs over. Brandon Turner is now mem a member of the club of guys who have been flattened by big Bill O'Brien. Turner hops up. Runs back to the bench. So he's got the U-Hawk on the front of his camera. Dane Smith with the shot. That goes wide. Tyson Bell can't pick it up. Have a loose ball push, it will be Laser Sharks ball. Again, those right handers for the Thompson brothers, Dane Smith, Lyle Thompson, Brett Bucktooth, Kyle Buchanan, Quinn Paulus, Vaughn Harris, Seth Oaks. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, and there's Brett Bucktooth showing you why he has been a solid forward in the NLL for years. And very common then a bit of a smile as he gets into Russ Oaks. That was a rocket to the far post and in off the iron. Another good play by Bucktooth and this Thompson Brothers offense. Stamper, you keep bringing up name after name after name for these guys. Yeah. And it's just, it, there's so many, you even left some off the list. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Harris pulls off the face off, but it pops out, and Eric Turner. He's going to run it ahead. Hands it off there to Sloan. Sloan will take his time. <clears throat> Ball pops loose. Here comes Oaks. Takes a look behind her to see who's there. <clears throat> Didn't see the guy coming ahead of him. And the defensive slide across. Ball bounces off the back glass. And it comes all the way back over mid floor.
Wheeler regaining gaining his balance. Runs back out to the top. Big pick. And Zach Reed's going to go and just chop down on Eric Turner after he took that pick in the back. Vaughn Harris. Look to Quinn Palace. A little high, but he catches it. Four righties, as Thompson brothers have been known to do. We mentioned all that right-handed talent. On the left side, they've got Jordan Durston and Heine Thompson. And then they've had like Tyson Bell, normally a defender, playing up. Here's Lou Serino. He is going to turn aside. Or it's not Prestridge, sorry. Bear of an errant pass, but it gets away. And it goes over and back. And a bit of a break for the laser for the Thompson brothers that it wasn't touched by Lyle Thompson. There's Bucktooth once again. The route is on. And yeah, Bucktooth getting there yet again. And these Thompson brothers, really fun to watch. Five to one with under four and a half to go here in the first half. <laughs> Play, I thought it sounded like the whistle went. But was that a, a violation or did uh, Zach Sloan just go and pick up the ball? Not sure, either way. Laser Sharks half possession as we near the four minute mark to go here in the first half. Pass across, drifts high. Andrioli goes after it. Bangs Tyson Bell into the boards, but Dane Smith comes up with the ball. Oh, what a play. You can see the speed of Dane Smith. He just runs by. That's not a slow man chasing him down, but Smith is just runs like a deer. Yeah, Dane Smith running like a deer, and I think the goalie was a deer in the headlights there. That was a phenomenal run, and the Thompson brothers continue to pour it on early on at the 330 mark of this first half. Six to one. Well played, by the way, Tom Scavetta. Well played. <clears throat> I like the slip from runs like a deer to deer in the headlights. That was pretty cool. Thompson brothers come up with it again. Von Harris with another face-off win. He's watched there by Vin Curran. Durston gets it over to Zach Reed. So they have about a million high quality, high talented righty forwards. And Zach Reed, a defender with the New England Black Wolves, is out there taking a shift on offense. Good for him. He actually had a pretty nice goal yesterday and a couple of great chances. Shot clock expires, but it should have been a reset. So they're going to just give him a fresh 30 now. <laughs> Laser Sharks are asking, how, is, how do they get a full 30? Which is a pretty good question. Nope. Now they're counting, but they're counting up. I don't know. Laser Sharks will head up the floor. We've got two minutes and a bit left in the first half. Six to one for Thompson Brothers over Laser Sharks Blanco. That shot goes off the goalie, Trey Lyons, but goes wide. And Seth Oaks grabs the player who's running down the floor with, spins him around. And it'll be Laser Sharks possession. And Oaks kind of points and says, No, no, it was him. <laughs> Oaks clearly the aggressor there, spinning Nick Andrioli. And Andrioli will start with possession, hands it off. Anthony Lucetto passes the ball. Now it comes over to Graham Bergsma. Really? 15? Or 12 earlier. Plus that's a lefty. That's not Bergsma. There's a shot. Thompson Brothers. There is a Bubba Thompson, Jerome Sr., number 7,742,247. 7, There's Durston, scores, gets him going far side and tucks it past Davy Jones inside the near post. Yeah, these Thompson brothers have name after name. And 
under a minute to go in this first half. 7-1 is your score. Thompson Brothers over Laser Sharks. Blanco, I think the Laser Sharks just want to get to this halftime break very quickly. Graham Bergs out there for the faceoff against Quinn Palace. Bergs McClamps pulls it out. Palace reaches out though, and Steve Priolo will grab it. Takes a hit, but spins off and keeps running. Gets it ahead to Bucktooth, who can't connect with Palace. But Buchanan gets that pass. Nate Smith rips one in. That was out so fast, she might have missed it, but it bounced off Jones and went back in anyway, just before the half, with about literally a second and a half to two seconds to go. It is, what, 8 1? 9 1? 8-1 at the half. 8-1 at the half for Thompson Brothers Lacrosse over the Laser Sharks Blanco. Well, welcome back, lacrosse friends. Trey, Troy Lyons is still jogging back to his crease as the faceoff is being lined up. <laughs> I'm Steven Stamp with Tom Scavetta. Scavs, it's 8-1 to one for the Thompson brothers. How, does laser, how do Laser Sharks come back in this one? Very difficult to say because the Thompson brothers have been attacking them throughout the whole game. As they just try to chip away any way they can. Just Kyle change. Buchanan reaches around. He's scored assists on the last two goals. Now he's got his own. His second of the game. Give him four points as he reaches far side and tucks it past the other goaltender. We have had a change, right, in net? Or is that still Davy Jones? Yeah, no, Davy Jones was in. Now we have da -da 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 -da. JP Fergola. All right, I haven't seen JP Fergola play for a while. <laughs> Little push in the back there. Whoa. And Tyson Bell, very calm there. Just the uh, Laser Sharks player picked up the ball. There's a push in the back. He picked it up anyway. And so Tyson Bell chopped it out of his stick. And Bell's just trying to stay out of the fray. I believe that's Vin Curran. That's going after him. Now Bell's going to throw a bit of a cross check up in the offensive zone. Jordan Durston will track it down. The shot clock about to expire. And yeah, you know, if you're a National Lacrosse League player, you don't need to be getting into it with a guy who's just trying to incite something with an NLL player. <laughs> Good poise by Tyson Bell. Pass doesn't quite connect. And here's Dane Smith looking for a break. He's going to track it down in the corner. He's got Bill O'Brien with him. O'Brien takes it, shoots, save. Bill O'Brien guaranteed us a goal yesterday in the game. Didn't get it. I thought he might have one there. But a nice save by J.P. Fergola. 
Laser Shark setting up in the offensive zone. Outlet pass over to O'Brien. A little bit of pressure on him from Brandon Turner. Good to see Brandon Turner back in the game. He had to take a while off with some uh, injury issues. One of the really good guys in the game. <laughs> Five hole shot bounces through. Just winding up with Zach Sloan. And finds a little bit of a spot. Zach Sloan had a tight window, but he fired it in there. A much needed goal for the Sharks. There's still a little bit of time for them to try to chip away, but not that much. 11 and a half minutes, but yeah, still, you know, yeah. seven goals to get back. That is a tall order. Bergman running out of his end. He's looking for somebody to come with him. Hunter Hemlock on him. Bergman spins back, throws a pass. Doesn't get through to Eric Turner, but it is snagged there. And the outlet pass to Dane Smith. He leaves it for Priolo. Priolo is going to pass to Bill O'Brien. He gets stripped. And a goal. Was that Dane Smith that went up putting that in? Yeah, that's who it looked like from, from yeah. here. Hattrick. That'll happen. Yeah. Also a hat-trick for Brett Bucktooth. Bucktooth had two in a row in the first half. Both of them set up by Lyle Thompson. Then Smith got his first, then Bucktooth, then Smith. And now Dane Smith again. It's 10 to 2. Lyle Thompson hands it off to his, his brother Heine. Saved by Fergola. They're getting close to the 10 second count. <laughs> Trying to bounce it back behind himself. Didn't quite work out. But there's a fresh 10 count because Thompson Brothers possessed the ball for a moment. And again, they're getting tight. They do get it across this time. Carl Starkey was the one who took the pass over center, runs it down into the corner and hands it off. Turner's pass is picked off and Lyle Thompson is off to the races. Shoots early. We've seen Dane Smith do it. This time we see Lyle Thompson where they just shoot on their off foot. The goalie's getting himself set, thinking he's got a step or so before the shot, a step before the shot's coming. And on the off foot, that shot perfect into the top corner. Perfectly placed. Good defense, transitions into great offense. Thompson brothers have displayed that so far. Harris with the face-off win. Reed couldn't get that pass through, but it does wind up bouncing over to Jordan Durston. He slips off a check. Fakes and he's going to pass it. Comes out now. He hits Buchanan up top. Back to Durston. Quinn Palace is high. He'll shoot for the top corner. Stopped by Fergola. Outlet pass to Bergsma. He'll run past Quinn Palace. Rumbling down the far side. Shovel pass. Lou Serene, or sorry. Scott Prestridge to Bergsma. Taylor Smoke had it. 
The ball bounces away from Mick Andrioli, but goes to Smoke. He'll shoot with just three on the shot clock. Stopped by Lyons. Lyons makes the easy pass to Palace, and there's the long one to Bell coming off the bench. Tyson Bell also wearing the U-Hawk today. Just a little black camera affixed to the front of the helmet. Vaughn Harris thought about a shot, tended to get one off, and that pass will take off on him up into the netting. And we're halfway through the second period. It's 11-2, Thompson Brothers. Here's a chance, and a goal! Long outlet pass. Nice finish by Eric Turner. Eric Turner. Good play there, getting the Sharks another point. But the Thompson brothers seem to be in control. 11-3 with seven minutes left to go in this one. Beautiful outlet pass by Graham Bergsma on that play. Just hit him, Eric Turner right in stride. Spin move inside. Doesn't work out for Wheeler, so he'll backpedal, head back up to the top. Ball is turned over, and there's a long pass to Dane Smith, who had released. And again, kind of on the off step, just precision shooting, picks a spot, and buries it. Dane Smith now with his fourth goal of the game. And the nice outlet, outlet pass by Lyle Thompson sets him up for a clear path to the goal. That was Jerome Thompson Sr. Number 700,000 plus. Winning the faceoff, Heine Thompson goes for a little drop shot, but for goal able to come up with it on the re on the loose ball. Ben Curran going for a run. Through, and through everybody gets the shot, but it kind of rolls down the leg of Troy Adams and just out the far side past the post. Picked up by Jerome Thompson Sr. makes a long pass ahead to Zach Reed. Reed looks, he's got nobody with him. He'll just turn back and wait for somebody to come and help as there were three Laser Sharks jerseys already back in the defensive position. Jerome Sr. High pass to Brett Bucktooth. Can't quite manage it. Kyle Buchanan. There's a hitch and a shot by Durston. Grabbed by Bubba Thompson. Long shot from the outside. Then Buchanan tries behind the back. Shot clock expires. 4.35 to go here in the second half. It's 12-3 Thompson Brothers. <coughs> Bergsma spins off one check from Hemlock. Gets the pass across to Sloan. Then Andrioli trying to break down the wing. Nick Tyson Bell throws it ahead. Hunter Hemlock all alone. He misses. Oh, he went off the glass. Did it intentionally. Passed it to himself off the backboards, but couldn't finish. After catching the ball, just shot it a little bit wide. And no messing around that time. As Hemlock just catches that one, turns and fires for all he's worth, burying it 13 to three. Another goal there by the Thompson brothers, continuing to rack up points. Just 3.28 to go in this game. Scores now 13 to three. Very impressive. Comes Curran going for a run. Switches hands, tries to get by Bill O'Brien. Now Heine Thompson checking him. <laughs> little shovel pass, didn't get there, so he'll just go pick it up himself and give it to Nick Andrioli. Andrioli shoots, nice save Lions. Andrioli goes, going top corner. Bergman behind the back, almost had one. 
sorry, that was actually James Shutt. And then, bouncing one five hole is Taylor Smoke. And Smoke getting on the stat sheet there. And just two and a half minutes to go. Thompson brothers seem to just be letting up a little bit. They know they pretty much have this game intact. Pretty much. <laughs> we'll see on this next possession if they keep going or not. 13-4. Thompson brothers. Let me see Vince Camp. This is Tom Scavetta. Graham Bergman pops the face out face off winner to himself. Laser Sharks looking to get another one. Pass to the cutter, gets blocked off on the shot by Bill O'Brien. He'll go for a sprint. Throws it ahead to Smith. Didn't connect, but did run over the player, Andy Wozner, who's trying to check him. There's a save by Fergola. And Nick Andrioli's running the floor. He's got Joe Williams on one side, comes over on the near side to Wheeler instead, Ryan Wheeler. Trying to ward off Quinn Palace. Seth Oaks comes in to help out. Timeout, Laser Sharks with 1.37 to go. They will try and set something up, get another goal. Run a set play. It looks like the Thompson brothers and the Syracuse Stingers will meet later tonight in a really crucial quarterfinal matchup. Yeah, that'll be at 10-10 tonight. <laughs> We do have some other matchups we have uh, coming up. It is Gold Star Tel Aviv and the Casey Powell World Lacrosse Experience. Then we've got Music City and the Gun Co Cocknawaga Indians. Brooklyn Dodgers and the Cleveland Demons. Qualification games, those are for, not qualification, those are the uh, losers quarterfinals. So those are for the teams that lost out the five teams that did not make it into the main championship draw in the playoffs. That shot goes well wide, bounces, and Brett Bucktooth will just tap it down for Zach Reed. He's able to pick it up as he falls, tries to get it over to Seth Oaks, but is picked off by Fergola, 115 to go here. Bergsma running back the other way. Pass down, that shot is stopped. Lyle Thompson fights for the ball, comes up with the Lucy as we're into the final minute of play. Find the back pass, doesn't quite get through to Oaks. And Fergola will look for an outlet. Bergman tracking it down. He's been very active this game. Priolo watching him. Down to 40 seconds. Four on the shot clock. Wheeler gets one off, stopped by Lions. Tyson Bell, little twister pass. <laughs> Steve Curl is gonna run it over mid floor. Six, 15 seconds left in the game. Four seconds, time just ticks away with the ball in the stick of Bubba Thompson. He'll get it back. <clears throat> so the number, if you're wondering about the number on the back of Bubba Thompson or Jerome Sr., 742242. Two. Those are the numbers. Jeremy, the oldest son, wears number 74. Heine, the second son, wears number 22. Lyle, wears number 4. And then Miles, where's number two? Miles not playing this weekend. So that is the explanation. Final score, 13-4. to four. I'm Stephen Stamp, Tom Scavetta. Anything you want to add? All right, that's it. We'll game. see you in a minute. <laughs>